Hey guys, Michael from Fire and Brilliance, and you are in for a treat today. If you've been following our content the last couple of weeks, you know that I've done four reasons as to why Moissanite is better than natural diamonds. I've also done the opposite, four reasons as to why natural diamonds are better than Moissanite. And today's episode is extra bonus episode where I'm going to go over four reasons why lab-grown diamonds are better than natural diamonds. So I'm gonna break that down for you, but before getting right into it, uh, please do us a favor and subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and leave a comment below. Let us know what you like, what, let us know what you don't like after the video. Especially if you've been following for us for a long time, uh, subscribe to the channel doesn't just only help out the algorithm. That's what YouTubers say. Uh, honestly, uh, the real reason why we want to do that is because we want to know that you're actually supporting us. Okay, so uh, if you support us, definitely hit the subscribe button and follow us on TikTok, Pinterest, Facebook, Instagram, as well as Twitter. And I'm gonna get right into as to why four reasons why lab-grown diamonds are better than natural diamonds. <laughs> All right, so again, if you haven't followed our last two episodes, one being the four reasons why Moissanite is actually better than natural diamonds, I'm gonna leave a link up above for you, for you to watch it so you have a real breakdown as to why uh, that is the case. And also at the same time, the episode right after that was four reasons why natural diamonds are better than Moissanite. I'll also leave it at, up, uh, up there for you to click on the link for you to learn more about that. In today's episode, I'm going to make a case and four reasons as to why lab-grown diamonds are better than natural diamonds. And the simple fact is that, obviously, it's the best of both worlds. You get to benefit from a lab-created or lab-grown gemstone, as well as have the benefits of what a diamond uh, encompasses. And let me go ahead and break that down and tell you as to why that is the case. Number one, uh, the benefits of a diamond. What is the true benefit of diamond when you co you're comparing a natural diamond versus uh, a lab-grown diamond? Well, regardless if it's a natural or lab-grown, it's still a diamond, okay? So if, uh, uh, just in case you don't know that. If you've been following our channel for a long time, you may already know that, but a natural diamond, a lab-grown diamond is a diamond. Diamond is a diamond. The only difference is one is made in Mother Earth, the other one is, uh, is man-made and lab-grown. So the benefit of a natural lab-grown diamond, the first real benefit is that on a Mohs scale uh, that measures the durability or the hardness rather uh, of a gemstone, it measures a 10 out of 10. So it's a perfect score, 10 out of 10. is the hardest gemstone on earth, uh, meaning it is durable and it can last and stand the test of time. And because of that, regardless if it's lab-grown or natural, uh, the beauty of it is that it is a 10 out of 10 on the most scale. It's the hardest gemstone on Earth, and therefore, it's the most durable gemstone on Earth. Does that mean that it can't break or chip? No, it does not mean it can't break or chip, because it does happen, unfortunately. Uh, so if you... Um, there's brute force uh, that basically contacts your diamond, uh, such as a hammer, or if uh, you accidentally drop your diamond and it gets run over by a vehicle or anything like that, it could crack, it could chip, it could break, of course. Uh, but if it, we were talking about just normal wear and tear, uh, everyday wear, uh, the chances of it chipping is very, very, very unlikely. It could happen, unfortunately, but very, very unlikely. So the number one reason as to why lab-grown diamonds are better than natural diamonds uh, is because of the fact that it also has the ability of having being an actual diamond. Uh, but it's backed up by lab-created qualities. And let me tell you the second reason as to why a lab-grown diamond is better than natural diamonds is because uh, it has all of the qualities, the qualities and the benefits of a lab-grown gemstone, such as it being socially responsible. What does that mean? Well, what is socially responsible in the gemstone world is if it's conflict-free or not. How can you eliminate the idea uh, of a gemstone being, in a, being used to finance a war, trafficking, drugs, or any kind of bloodshed, right? Uh, that's considered a, a conflict diamond. Uh, usually people call it a blood diamond. In a lab-grown diamond's case, since it's man-made and lab-grown, uh, it's obviously um, made and controlled with an environment and then sold uh, to uh, basically the, the world. So therefore, it's, it's made in a lab, uh, made by a company. 
uh, and the chances of it actually financing a war uh, because it's been mined uh, from a different country is highly unlikely. And therefore, it also encompasses the social responsibility of not being conflict-free like that of a Moissanite. And because that is the case, uh, then it has that quality of a lab-grown gemstone, which is the benefit, which is why a lot of people are into lab-grown gemstones, because they feel as if it's more of a socially responsible product uh, versus the chances of a natural diamond uh, being uh, used to finance a, a war-torn country uh, such as blood diamonds. The third reason why lab-grown diamonds are are better than natural diamonds is because of another lab-grown quality and benefit and it's because it's more environmentally friendly. Does that mean that it does not have any kind of uh, repercussions to the environment? Of course, if it's lab-grown, if it's made in a lab, uh, a lab also requires energy, also requires that it needs to be produced. Obviously, uh, anything that's produced by man is going to have some kind of environmental impact. So, in other words, if you are mining a diamond, there's a lot of heavy equipment, uh, there's a lot of energy, there requires many, many resources uh, to find a diamond in the rough, right? Um, you can uh, dig for hours and, uh, and, and, and hours and hours and, and really uncover a huge mass of land. Uh, to find diamonds, so uh, it will not, it obviously will leave uh, the natural environment um, not as it was intended to be, right? So, so it's, uh, obviously a lab-grown diamond is much better for the environment because it leaves Mother Earth in its original form. Now, the fourth and final reason why lab-grown diamonds are better than natural diamonds is because it's budget-friendly. And what does it budget-friendly means? Anything that's made in a lab is controlled. Anything that can be controlled uh, or can be mass-produced, you can reduce that cost. And because you can reduce that cost, basically a person that purchased a natural diamond and a lab-grown diamond of the same quality, such as cut, color, clarity, and carat weight, a lab-grown diamond is much, much less than that of a natural diamond by anywhere between uh, 20 to 50 to 60 to potentially even 70% less than a natural diamond. Uh, because of that savings, there are many benefits you can have. Number one, you can save more money, uh, obviously. Yeah, there's more money in your wallet, right, or purse. Or number two, if you don't want to save that money, then you can upgrade the stone to a much larger stone than what you can actually afford for a natural diamond of the same budget. Or number three, if you actually like the same size stone, you can purchase more quantities of it in a lab-grown form, right? So you have many options when something's more economical. Uh, so again, let me recap. There are four reasons why lab-grown diamonds are better than natural diamonds. And the reason being is because you get the benefits of both worlds. You get the benefits of a natural diamond, but at the same time you get the benefits uh, and qualities of what a lab-grown diamond is able to provide you uh, as a consumer. Number one, a natural diamond, a lab-grown diamond has the same uh, hardness, so it's durable. Okay. Number two, uh, a lab-grown diamond is socially responsible because it's conflict-free. Number three, uh, lab-grown diamond is more environmentally friendly because it does not require mining. And last but not least, it's budget-friendly and it provides you more options. All right, so what do you guys think about what I just said there, right? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Out of all three episodes, uh, we left a, a, you know, a link up above for you to follow the other two previous episodes too. What do you think? Uh, do you think Moissanite's better? that both stones? Do you think natural diamonds are better than both stones? Or do you think lab-grown diamonds are better than natural diamonds and moissanite? It's really up to you. Uh, again, there's no right or wrong answer here. We are here just to provide information uh, and as well as to educate you. So if you like what you see, definitely subscribe to the channel. Again, it helps out the algorithm, but more importantly, it shows that you support us, okay? Follow us on TikTok, Pinterest, Facebook, Instagram, as well as Twitter. And I want to let you know I'm a father of three kids, so if you are also a father watching this video, uh, then happy Father's Day to you. Goodbye.